how to freeze frame in Premiere Pro. What's up video creator, it's videomark.net. Welcome to another tutorial. Before we get to the tutorial, um, quick reminder, this video is part of my November giveaway series. Thumbs up for this video, leave a comment to enter uh, for a chance to win a $50 gift card tomorrow, 24 hours later. End of the video, I will announce the winner of yesterday's video. So for 30 days straight, you will have the chance to win a $50 gift card, but back to the tutorial. All right, we're back with our demo sequence here, and I've, I've got this clip here in my timeline, and I want to add a freeze frame right at the position of this playhead. Like when we play it back, right when she's looking up, I want to add, I want this to freeze and add a, I don't know, extend, extend this clip right at this point. So what are we gonna do? Just select your clip, right click and select add frame hold. What this does, it will cut the clip at the playhead position. And when you play, when you play it now, boom, there's your freeze frame. It's pretty simple. There's a couple other ways, uh, other, other options you have, like when you uh, place your playhead, click, um, select your clip, right click, and then select insert frame hold segment. What that will do, now, uh, since I did not lock my adjustment layers for the color grading, I'm, let me do that real quick. So do it, do it again, right click, insert frame hold. And what that does, it will add a, um, a certain, certain amount of time where it's freezing and then keep playing just like that. And if you want to extend this, you could select the ripple edit tool and then extend this sequence right here. And the freeze frame will hold for a little longer and then keep playing. Command Z, let's undo this. Another tip here, when you have the, the selection tool active, when you hold the control or command key, you will switch to the ripple edit tool. And when you hover over that edit, you can extend it then without even changing the tool. Okay, so that's how you could extend it. There's a couple of other options you have when you right click the clip and select frame hold options. You see this window pop up here and hold on is already selected. And in this drop down menu, you have three options in point, out point and playhead. When you select playhead and say, okay, it will just freeze that frame right at that position. It's as if you um, exported a, 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 a frame into a picture and then we imported that. That's basically the same thing. It freezes that clip right at the position of the playhead. The other options were, let me demonstrate that real quick, right click frame hold options, in point, pretty self-explanatory. It will freeze at the in point of the clip and it's the same with the out point. Another thing that I want to show you real quick, sometimes you would want to export a frame, re-import that, maybe you would add titles like this Guy Ritchie movie effect that you that you see sometimes where the frame is freezing and then a text animation is uh, dropping in. And um, you would just find the frame that you want to freeze and then click on export, export frame right here, give it a name, select a destination and then check import into project. I did that already. So it's right here, freeze frame. So what you could do now is, um, by the way, the shortcut that I used is like when you are, when you have your clip selected and the, uh, and the track is active, when you hit control K, it will cut the club right at the position of your, of your playhead. So that's very handy. So we had, we had placed the cut. We can move this over a, bit, a little bit, bring in this freeze frame. And now of course <laughs> the color grading doesn't work anymore because we had exported a graded picture. So you would have to, you would have to, uh, basically remove the color grading and do it that way. Okay. But you get the idea, you get the idea that will basically have the same effect. And that's something that you would want to do, want to do when you actually want to process this freeze frame um, in, in another software like Photoshop or After Effects or something. 
So these are the options that you want to, that you have um, when you want to add a freeze frame to your clip in Premiere Pro. It's a pretty common thing to do. You extend uh, a lot of key, uh, a lot of clips, I freeze a lot of clips, as mentioned, for certain effects or something. And um, it's, it's pretty, it's a pretty good thing to have in your tool belt. All right, and now let's announce the winner of yesterday's gift card. I've had a couple of comments. It's going pretty well. People, people are really excited. That's a great thing. And uh, I've announced one winner already. And the next winner, like the winner of the second gift card out of 30 gift cards, is Sophia. Congratulations, Sophia. You won a $50 Amazon gift card. Uh, have fun with that. And I've used a tool named Comment Picker. I didn't, I have never done a giveaway on my channel. So uh, I, I did not, I did not know of that tool. Thanks for pointing out. Some of you left, uh, have been pointing it out in the comments. Thank you for that. And Sophia is the winner of yesterday's gift card. Congratulations. And we have 28 other gift cards left. Don't be sad if you did not win just yet. You have 28 other chances. And um, that being said, I, th I hope I will see you tomorrow.